Hard gelatin capsule manufacturing process step by step. Solid dosage forms encased in a tiny shell, hard gelatin capsules contain one or more medicinal substances and or inert components. Both the body, which holds the medication and diluent, and the cap, which is about half the length of the body, are made of gelatin. Hard gelatin capsules are the most common kind of modern capsule. By a factor of almost 10, hard gelatin capsules are used more often than soft gelatin capsules to provide solid dosage forms. Shell providers manufacture and ship empty hard gelatin capsules to the pharmaceutical sector, which fills the capsules in a separate process. Before we get into the specifics of the quality control procedures involved in making gelatin capsules, let's examine the ingredients that go into making hard gelatin capsules, materials used to make the hard gelatin capsule shell. The main ingredient in hard gelatin capsules is gelatin. To facilitate capsule production or enhance their function, it may include substances other than gelatin, such as plasticizers, colorants, opacifying agents, and preservatives. Depending on the storage circumstances, the water content in hard gelatin capsules might range from 12 to 16 percent. Gelatin. When it comes to hard capsule shells, gelatin is the most popular and well-known substance. This phrase describes a combination of pure protein fractions that are made from collagen that has been extracted from various animal sources, such as skin, white connective tissue, and bones, using an irreversible hydrolytic process. Type A gelatin and Type B gelatin are made from different collagen sources and extracted in different ways. The isoelectric point of Type A gelatin, which is produced by acid hydrolysis of hog skin, ranges from 7.0 to 9.0. The isoelectric point of type B gelatin, which is made by hydrolyzing bovine bones in an alkaline solution, ranges from 4.8 to 5.0. As a result of their distinct isoelectric points, the two gelatins exhibit pH-dependent solubility variations, although both forms of gelatin may be used to make capsules, a mix of the two is usually preferred for the best results when it comes to the shell's properties, this is because bone gelatin gives the capsule its firmness, and pork skin gelatin gives it its flexibility and clarity. The bloom intensity is an additional criterion for identifying gelatin generated from gelatin grade, plasticizer. To make gelatin more malleable and less stiff, plasticizers are added to the polymer. Polyhydric alcohol and glycerin are two common plasticizers. Because it is an inherent component of gelatin, water is also an effective plasticizer. Colorants. Colored hard gelatin capsules are common because they serve to both identify the product and improve its visual appeal. Wherever the product is going to be marketed, the colorants used in it must be compliant with local regulations. Synthetic dyes like azo and xanthine are examples of capsule colorants that are routinely employed. Also utilized are colors made of iron oxide, luminous substances, to turn transparent gelatin opaque, opacifiers like titanium dioxide can be used. You can use opaque capsules to hide their contents or shield them from light. Storage agents. In the past, hard capsules would have preservatives, often parabens esters, applied to them as in-process assistance to stop microbiological contamination. No longer are they utilized by manufacturers whose factories adhere to good manufacturing practice, GMP, standards. Because the water is so tightly bonded to the gelatin molecule in the final capsules, the water activity does not enable bacterial growth, 12 to 16 percent with V, hard gelatin capsule production. The following steps are involved in the production of hard gelatin capsules using the dip coating method. Step 1 Gel Solution Dipping Solution Preparation The gelatin is dissolved in demineralized water that has been heated to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius in jacketed pressure vessels to create a concentrated solution. The presence of gelatin in this solution, ranging from 30 to 40 percent by weight, together with its extremely thick consistency, leads to the formation of air bubbles. Capsules of varying weights would result from these bubbles being present in the final solution, which would also cause issues when filling and storing the capsules. The time required to apply a vacuum to the solution to extract the air bubbles is proportional to the volume of the batch. To get the final capsule look you want, apply colorants and pigments after the previous processes. Other processing aids, including sodium lauryl sulfate, might be used at this stage to lower surface tension. To obtain the desired specification, the solution viscosity is tested and modified using hot demineralized water as necessary. 
a crucial element that influences the subsequent manufacturing process and has a significant impact on the thickness of the capsule shell wall is the viscosity of the gelatin solution. The gelatin is prepared for use in capsule manufacturing after passing chemical, microbiological, and physical tests. The dipping machine has temperature-controlled tanks that the gelatin solution is moved to, and then it is continually supplied into the dipping dishes. Step. 2. Applying the gelatin mixture using a dipping technique on metal pins, molds. In a controlled environment, a standardized mixture of water and gelatin, 25 to 30 percent W slash W, is heated to around 50 degrees Celsius in a jacketed heating pan, and then a pair of standardized steel pins, one for the body and one for the cap is dipped into the mixture. The pins are placed in rows on metal bars. As the molds are kept below the gelling temperature, a thin film or coating of gelatin begins to develop on top of the molds, caps are created on one side of the machine and bodies on the other. Thanks to the arrangement of the pin rows. Step 3 The dip-coated pins rotation. For consistent and accurate capsule wall thickness and dome strength, it is essential to rotate the bar holding the pins many times after the gelatin solution has adsorbed to the surface of the pins. This will ensure that the solution is distributed uniformly around the pins, Step for dehydration of the pins covered with gelatin. After the gelatin has been spread out uniformly over the mold, it is set with a blast of cold air. After the gelatin has dried, the pins go through a series of drying processes until they reach the desired moisture level. Step 5 Cutting and Descaling. Once the gelatin has dried, the capsule may be removed from the mold and cut to size. Step 6 Joining of the trimmed capsule shell. After trimming, a pre-lock mechanism secures the two parts, the head and the body, together in the closed position. Printing, if necessary, is done now before packaging in shipping cartons. Step 7 The process of printing. Capsule shells can be printed after production for better identification. Product names, code numbers, manufacturer names or logos, and dosage information can all be printed using one or two colors. What you need to manufacture, share with us.